Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth here at Lizzie Loves Life and today I have an Amazon haul for you guys. If you have been following me or know me in real life, you know my passion for Amazon. So I like to share with you guys kind of monthly Amazon hauls of things that I have purchased during the month of whatever it is. I'm a little behind so these are purchases from August that I was able to kind of scrounge up and talk to you guys about. A lot of these are now Amazon favorites, Amazon must-haves. You got some kitchen things, clothing, household items, as well as things for your kids and toddler. So if you're interested in seeing what I have picked up from Amazon, and then keep watching. So I'm actually just going to go in order of what I've purchased because I don't have everything specifically with me right now. So the first two things I actually got. I'll share a video clip real quick, but these are four kind of, they call them bathroom pictures, but they're four pictures of a blue flowers. And I paired this with their black frames. And I have this hanging in our hallway in the upstairs area, walking to the playroom. And I love this. It just kind of gives the hallway a little bit more nicer feel for me. I'm definitely into like the navy blue blue scheme in my household. So these are so pretty, perfect. Again, I just kind of, the pictures come separately than the frames. So I purchased the pictures and the frames, just command struck them and put them on the walls. And I really love the way that looks. The next thing here is actually a clothing piece for me. This is a t-shirt says happy fall y'all. I haven't worn this a bunch. You may have seen it on Instagram and stuff as well as well as in a couple of my other YouTube videos and I'm obsessed. It is so nice. I've washed it a couple times. Just a cotton material. Love the kind of burgundy red that it is. So perfect for fall and especially if you're in a warmer climate you can wear it as a t-shirt with shorts or put a cardigan over it what have you but this is really nice and then lately I've been doing a lot of Lily Pulitzer purchases and try-ons if you're interested in that I'll link the fashion playlist on Lizzie Loves that's my beauty fashion channel so I'll have it on that but because of those I've purchased a bunch of their Amazon basics hangers so this way my hangers kind of all look the same feel the same and these are pretty good quality I will say this package that I purchased had like the black fuzzies and stuff on it so I needed to wipe that away but really nice for just kind of making that uniform look in your closet. Another thing for closets, I'll insert the video right here, but I purchased the blue kind of fabric closet organizers. They're navy blue, like I mentioned, I love navy blue, and they have like the little clear window through it so you can see what's inside. Now, I do have them just kind of on the top shelf right now. I'm definitely wanting to get more of these to kind of increase my kind of organization in my closet. Right now, it's like Halloween costumes, my husband's like winter referee socks, then we have like my small purses and then a whole bin full of scarves and I really like it so it's not just kind of thrown around shoved in one of our open closet shelves if you know what I mean it's kind of put away up high we don't reach for those all that often seasonal times I can bring them down but check these out they come in a whole bunch of different colors they're recommended for nursery like kids room so check them out if you're interested it's perfect for closet storage continue on with home I need needed new kitchen shears. Now I don't know what happened to my other ones. Somehow I misplaced them and these are so pretty. So these are just the KitchenAid ones but it's in like a really pretty duck egg kind of Tiffany blue color. Love this color and just perfect for in the kitchen. I use this to cut up Jackson's food. Any kind of like meat that you need, chicken nuggets, cut up random random things that you use kitchen shears for, but these are really nice and you can find them on Amazon. So a random kid purchase is I purchased these Crayola washable project paints. And now why I purchased these and really like them are because they're washable. It comes in six colors, orange, green, blue, purple, yellow, and red. And we like to just finger paint, arts and crafts, you name it. And for the fall time and winter time, Arts and crafts is kind of one of those things you can do inside when it's cold and it's just fun to play with so I purchased some of these. I do kind of keep my eye out for discounts so follow me on my Lizzie Loves Life or Lizzie Loves Instagrams. I tend to promote when they're like 20% off or more so that's when I grab these is when they were on sale. 
Now the next purchase here, y'all may think my son has outgrown this. So why did I purchase it? But I purchased all these kind of boon grass accessories. These are for like little babies. You can put like their bottles and pacifiers and it's kind of just a drying rack. So the boon grass is sold separately. A lot of these individual ones are sold separately as well. But what my son has been loving to do with this is kind of create his own garden, play with it as it's a forest, things like that. So if you have this, and I know a lot of mommies have this, pull it out for your toddler, clean it out, that kind of stuff, and maybe they'll play with it. You never know. So if you have outgrown the bottles, check it out to play with your toddler. Jackson has been really enjoying playing with this again, so I just let him have at it, and that's why we purchased like a cactus and random other flowers for him to play with as well and have his own little garden. One book that we have recently purchased, I did a Halloween book video here on my channel. I will link it up above if you're interested in seeing what kind of Halloween books that we have. But this is a new one for us. This is the Spooky Wheels on the Bus and it goes to the tune of Wheels on the Bus but there's witches and mummies and spiders and all that kind of stuff on the bus and it's really fun. I love books that you can kind of sing along with. Jackson loves them as well. We've been singing these songs or this song, Spooky Wheels on the Bus song a whole lot lately now that it's October so check that book out as well as the Halloween books video if you're interested in more Halloween books. Now another thing I have purchased in August we had a beach trip in September and we just wanted to stock up on cloth face masks so I just kind of get the generic black cloth face mask. I have a couple other ones. I have some Lily Pulitzer ones of course and all that kind of stuff but we wanted just some plain black ones that me and my husband can kind of swipe out and wear so they're not in the wash and they're not having to be used and all that kind of stuff so I have more that I purchased and they're a pretty good deal on Amazon so check them out if you are in need for more cloth face masks. So a new kind of toy that I picked out for Jackson and he has really been enjoying doing it is the Melissa and Doug veterinarian kit and this is so cute so it comes with a little dog and a cat and then a whole bag full of doctor things. You got the stethoscope, you have a thermometer, you have one of these things to check the ears and the eyes you have bandages you have some pill bottles you have all that kind of stuff and he really has learned a lot I'm surprised that I didn't even tell him what some of the stuff was and what you could do but he's really enjoyed playing with this it's kind of similar to like the Dr. McStuffins if you watch Disney Channel we watched like one or two episodes of that so maybe that's where he kind of got it from but I sometimes am the sick animal or sick person and he'll make me feel better, I'll make him feel better, that kind of stuff. So if you want a new kind of game that's pretty cute to play with your toddler, then check this out. Another Halloween book I purchased, you guys, I'm obsessed with seasonal kids books, but this is Spooky Pookie. It's from the Little Pookie series and I love it. It's so cute. They're all board books, really easy reads, which I like sometimes at bedtime. And he's trying to figure out what costume he wants to wear for Halloween. Really cute book. Jackson has learned like, boo, I'm a ghost. Oh, it's just me kind of thing. It's cute. Check this book out if you're interested. And then going on with the Halloween theme, I purchased four of these spiders like ah. now at first Jackson was a little kind of nervous and scared about this you may have seen it on my Instagram stories when we got it but now he is obsessed I kind of line our staircase now with them I try to put them up when we're not playing with them because copper our dog likes to chase them and use them as kind of dog toys and that's why there's like wet spots in it because he'll eat it or lick it or whatever but you can bend the legs move them however you want but we sing a see but see spider with this you can also put them outside for outdoor halloween decor but it comes in a set of four and they're really nice pretty good spiders i recommend them for halloween another kind of toddler item i purchased was this xylophone now we have previously got a music kind of toddler backpack gift set. I will link the one that we have down below for you guys who are interested. But Jackson has banged and played on his xylophone so hard that one of the buttons popped off and 
there was no saving it. So I was able to find just getting the plain a xylophone. It comes with two sticks. It's still in the playroom. I didn't grab those. But he loves playing music and making music. So I had to purchase a new one for a replacement for him. Another toddler related item is a bath product. This is the Baby Bum Natural Fragrance Shampoo and Wash. And I was previously using the Earth Mama Foaming body wash. I love foaming body wash, especially for kids, especially if they're like tear free because it gets them having fun playing in the bath and having the bubbles on them, that kind of stuff. This smells really good as well. A lot cheaper than Earth Mama. I recently have actually canceled my Grove subscription. So that's why I was on the hunt for something I could get from Amazon or Target. And this definitely has done the job. I really like it. Plant-based, gluten-free, dermatologist tested and yeah I really like it I would definitely repurchase now y'all may have seen this next thing in a favorites video but these are some really pretty artificial fall flowers there's sunflowers in there dahlias I believe that's how you say it and just different other things I love to put it in my blue kind of scroll base I got this from Amazon a while ago too I'll link it if it's still available but I really like having this on my island but now I have a spooky cauldron with skeleton hands and stuff climbing all over it so this is kind of put in the corner area where my hot cocoa and stuff is, but I still really love it. I think it's perfect for fall and I definitely keep using it each fall. So like I mentioned, we went to the beach that month, so I needed to pick up a couple staples. One is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. I love this stuff. Definitely recommend you guys use it. My favorite way to use this is with the makeup eraser. And it's just so easy to take off your waterproof eyeliner, mascara, all that kind of stuff in a quick way to clean your face off. Also picked up the Kula sunscreen. I picked up the peach blossom scent. Not my favorite. I definitely recommend like tropical coconut or pina colada scent from them. And I picked up some Neutrogena Kids sunscreen, spray sunscreen for your kid. Before I was using the Baby Ganex sunscreen, the rubbing kind, but after this being my second beach trip with the toddler, which is a little bit more feisty than a baby who cries for sunscreen, I definitely recommend get a spray bottle especially for the reapplication time but when you're at the beach pool what have you the next thing i got was a early learning activity book now this is a dry erase kind of activity book for your toddler it does say for ages four and up there's a good reason why but it's fun to kind of have jackson start learning with it so it goes through all the alphabets you can circle the b's you can trace over the letters me and him have been doing this a couple times. The best way to do is just get one of those old mismatched socks and wipe it clean. I didn't do it on all these pages, but like you can see he attempts to do some of this stuff. But, I don't know, it's a good way to start introducing pen control and writing skills for your little ones. Jackson's just two and a half years old, but it is something that he has been doing. And then there were a couple, I don't know if I saved he would count the dogs in this kind of area and I liked that he put his pen down and then would write how many dogs there are right there and he did try and for two and a half years old that is awesome there's a couple other ones where you have to draw a line from like the mommy cow to the baby cow and he was doing that so if you're interested in starting some pen control writing skills with your toddler definitely check these out I have another one as well but this one is pretty filled of different things you could do to practice tracing numbers, practice letters, farm animals, and then there's also telling time. So that's why it's also for ages older than that, but definitely a great thing for fine motor skills for your little ones. I also picked up a couple other fall decor things. If you didn't see my fall decorate video or clean and decorate video with me, I will go ahead and link that in the cards up above. I have on my dining room table a really nice blue and white checkered runner and then I picked up the white pumpkins from Amazon. I put them on my little what's that called candle display thing in the middle of the table. Who knows what that's called? Let me know in the comments down below. And then on my fireplace I have a whole bunch of pumpkins and garland and stuff there. And I wanted to add those white pumpkins as a really nice pop of some neutral colors and brighten up the area. So really happy about that. And then I also got this assorted mixture of leaves and white pumpkins and orange pumpkins to go into a lantern that is on like our front area 
and I'm really enjoying the way everything looks, especially at nighttime because I did purchase some fairy lights to put in that garland and put in the lantern and I have it in a different section in my house as well. So those are really nice. They have a little button that you can turn them on and off. So I recommend you guys check out fairy lights and pumpkins and leaves if you want to decorate your house. So back to kids because guys, I'm a mama and I like finding new things, especially new things for your toddler because that's new things for you to do, right? So I saw this game from my friend. We were over at her house and it's called Zingo. It's bingo with a zing. So this is a really neat game. So it's for ages four and up, but you could totally do it at ages two. You get big bingo cards. There's a red side, yellow side. Doesn't really matter what side. Sometimes Jackson does red and decides he wants a yellow one. But what you do is there is this big kind of machine. Not that big. And you just kind of slide the cards. And it's hard to do looking at you guys. But you get these little cards and they're definitely not breakable or anything like that. And you just match them on your card so you can get bingo with a line or fill up the card she kind of said that she always fills up the card and that's what i've been doing with jackson too just to kind of make the game go longer if you don't have the piece you put it back in and it's the next person's turn so if you're looking for a fun board game to do with your toddler this is a really nice one fun one i haven't played with it in a couple of days with jackson so i'm going to need to pull this out after nap time next thing is a whole bunch of chalk we love chalk we love to draw on our sidewalk garage all that kind of stuff so i picked up a big pack of sidewalk chalk this is the jumbo kind just because they don't break as easily easier for the little ones to hold on to and we're currently running out it's pretty low on the ones that we have so i wanted to pick up some new ones and then the last thing guys is my Apple Watch protector. This little plastic thing right here that covers it. If you know me, especially in real life, you know I have broken one of these Apple Watches. I purchased the, what are those called? The glass protector ones that go over. Definitely more expensive. They say they have a warranty. You have to pay five to $10 shipping each time. Those would break on me every month. So I reached out to a couple of my girlfriends who had them and these were recommended so i purchased them and guys i have a couple of dings on it but it's not broken because it's not glass so i'm really really recommending these they just have made me not break my apple watch and apple watch cover as much as i had been breaking it so check it out you definitely have to push a little harder than like if you didn't have a protector on it but you don't break it. So I will link these protectors down below and everything that I mentioned in this Amazon haul video. Let me know what you've purchased from Amazon recently. I definitely have some odds and ends weird things in here. I plan on doing my next Amazon haul video maybe next week or the week after so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with my obsession of shopping on Amazon. Holiday season is soon so I keep you guys updated with new ideas for you and your toddler so I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said it's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am, it's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it and I